We'll sit on the bed about it. <laughs> What's this uh, time period been like when you didn't know? Oh, uh, it's pretty been kind of been long actually, but I think after the season we kind of got straight onto it, and I mean I didn't have no doubts, and I don't think Coach Ham had any doubts. My trainers and all the doctors didn't have no doubts about it because they knew my situation. But I think besides that, you know, it just it did, it did take a little time. But I guess you know I got the call this morning, and I was just surprised myself. And Coach Ham called me and told me, and it just it just it was just crazy. So how did he tell you? Yeah, he woke up and said, congrats, and just started laughing and smiling. So I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh, okay, because it was so long, you know, it's long, it's been a long period around this whole summer, and we just didn't know what was going to go down. But I think Coach Ham had great confidence saying he'll be fine, don't worry about it, just, you know, stay in the gym. So that's what I've been doing. And I really thought he was going to tell me, am I still in the gym? Because he does jokes like that. But it was more than that, and he called me and said, congratulations, and I said, thank you. So I just pretty much text all the trainers and stuff and saying, you know, thank you for helping me out, a stick on me and stuff like that. So it's still a pretty big relief now that it's official though. Definitely, definitely. Cause I that's, that was in the back of my mind the whole time. But besides that, you know, I wasn't Coach Ham told me not to stress and usually when he says that, I never do. So I just, you know, keep doing me and just stay, sticking in that gym. What all went into the process of pursuing it? Uh, pretty much, you know, give my thoughts on, you know, what, what, what went down and what did I have. And I have to say, like, you know, I had a cyst in my foot and I actually didn't know that it was, you know, stuff like that. But it's nothing. It wasn't nothing crazy. I mean, everybody knew, was, actually knew I was going to get it. Uh, but I think uh, I just kind of put it to the side and kind of let, you know, my trainer and stuff like that handle it because they knew, I already told them my situation was. And they just basically, you know, when I told them uh, what to do and stuff like that. So it really definitely helped me. Amanda was definitely, a, you know, a big key to my success, you know, trying to get that year back. So it was definitely great. You uh, you finally had that healthy offseason last year. We really saw the improvements on the court. Is there a sense with you that you can kind of even take your game to another level with another healthy offseason? Definitely, definitely. That's what I'm trying to uh, definitely do. And, you know, this summer, just working on my weaknesses that I had, uh, you know, watching film, what, what can I do, what can I do better, and stuff like that. So just really just, you know, what any basketball player does, try to get better and just, you know, uh, you learn their weaknesses, so you know you make um you know make a strength. So, Phil, so where do you go from here? Also with the team, so you guys can make can make another deep run next season. Uh, pretty much, you know, start leadership. Uh, Coach Ham definitely called me on that after he told me congratulations. You know, just from being here so long and just knowing what goes on and stuff like that. So I think I definitely gotta you know tell the younger guys and. Well, not the young guys, uh, they're veterans now, but, you know, just tell them what, uh, just to keep going, definitely getting, you know, watch film because it, it helps a lot. And a lot of players kind of don't know that, but film definitely helps, you know, and just work on your weaknesses and just make them strengths and just, uh, you know, try to repeat what we did last year, so. What was the guy's reaction when you told him to do that? Yeah, it was a different surprise, too. It was, <laughs> Terrence was kind of scared. I wasn't going to get it, but I, I told him I was going to get I was pretty sure I was going to get it, but he definitely just, you know, helped me out and, you know, he actually called me for Coach Ham. Told me he was like, "Yeah, you didn't get the red shirt, man," because he was in the office talking with Coach Ham. I was like, "Stop playing!" And then Coach Ham called me, and then he surprised me and said, "You know, yeah, you got it and stuff like that." So he was joking around and stuff. But Terrence was definitely, you know, talking to me through it. And he's been in the gym too with me, just you know, encouraged me. Just don't worry about it. They'll handle it and just you know, take care of yourself. So. Did you ever think about man starting to chase your career? I mean, just without knowing for sure. Definitely, definitely. I think uh, pretty much the whole summer I did just because, you know, you never know what happens. But I think everybody was definitely confident and I wasn't really putting too much stress on anything really because, like I said, when Coach Ham says that, you know, I, I trust him. And I, the whole four years I've trusted him through everything. So I never doubted him one time. I never doubted a man at the trainer one time, the docs, any any time. So I was definitely just, you know, just keep putting the work in and everything will take care of yourself. I mean, you obviously lost a couple guys from last season. Uh, but you still have a ton coming back. How excited are you about the, the group you guys have coming back? I was definitely excited, man. I think, you know, after the season ended, everybody got straight into the gym. And I just saw from there that, you know, everybody's still locked in. They're trying to go farther than what we did last year. So I think everybody's, you know, still, you know, strong with each other. And then we got great chemistry. And I think it would be better than before last year. As a team leader, how do you handle those expectations? Because also, you guys do have a challenging non conference schedule. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty busy off the get-go. Definitely. And I think, you know, ACC is always going to be like that. And I think one of the uh, things that uh, people learned this year is every game you got to bring it. And if you don't, you're going to get knocked off. So I think you got to play to the last buzzer. And everybody knows that. And so everybody, you know, just working on that game and just, you know, getting stronger, getting their body right. Because treatment is definitely going to be, a, <laughs> after the season we had, it's definitely going to be, you know, trying to get our bodies back right and stuff like that. So I think everybody's going to be good.